In this tutorial, we're going to check out all the newest stuff in WordPress 6.0 that was released recently. Let's get to it. If you just recently updated WordPress, you probably see something like this in your dashboard. I highly recommend you click on learn more about the 6.0 version and you can read through what it has here. So it's really important because you're building your websites and your client sites on WordPress. So you should familiarize yourself with the new updates. We are going to go through a bunch of these to see what is actually happening with these new updates. And apparently there are 500 enhancements and 400 bug fixes, which is quite a few. If you go to the WordPress video, they made a dedicated video. It was like a one minute long or one and a half minutes. They say there's 600 enhancements, 600 bug fixes. So which one's true? I don't know. But either way, multiple hundreds of enhancements and bug fixes is quite a lot. Let's start with the enhanced writing experience. Let's open up a page with some content. I'm going to open up the privacy policy page. This is the one that comes built into WordPress now when you install WordPress. And each of these paragraphs is its own text block, which you're probably familiar with. And it used to be that you could select entire blocks, like so, and change their styling. You could select multiple blocks, like so, and change their styling and, and do stuff to the block. Now you can actually select parts of multiple blocks. So I can select that of that first block and this of the second block. And then I can go ahead and bold all those words or delete all those words. Then it turns into one block. So that's one of the enhancements, being able to go cross block like that with style changes. You can also quickly open the link menu by typing square bracket, square bracket, and it draws up or pulls up all the pages you can link to, that all the pages that are on your site currently. You can click on the page and it just adds a link to that page right there. You can then go ahead and change the name of it, change the URL if you want to, or of course the old way of getting to your link menus also works. Just highlight something, click on the link icon, and find the pages through here. It's essentially just a keyboard shortcut to make your life a little easier. You can also select multiple blocks and turn them into columns just by selecting them and clicking here. This will turn them into one row, just like that. Highlight them again, you can switch them back to stacked, you can do this for not just two, let's try it on four. Doesn't look great because they're pretty narrow, the columns altogether, but it is possible and super easy to do with just one click of a button. So that's pretty handy. Blocks also retain styles now. So if we had a, a paragraph block that we do here, let's just add some styles to it. And now just for fun, I'm gonna change this block to be a heading block. Now, if I change it back to paragraph, it used to be that the styles would be gone. You have to redo all the styles, but now they're retained. We've got our italics here, bold down here. Just an easier way to be able to switch back and forth between different things, try stuff out, but then not have to redo all your work that you made to customize your styles previously. And if you use social icons on your site, it's also been upgraded to those. And the social icons block add uh, social icons, add YouTube, and let's add Facebook. We have our default styles. You can also change this. It's hard to select for some reason. You can change this to logos only. You can change it to pill shaped. You can change justification settings, orientation, the linking, background colors, icon colors. So you could have it fit in with your theme. You could have them all look like that, just gray. Let's make those logos only. That'll look better. There we go, look at that, nice and gray. And they can fit in with your color theme or color scheme of your theme quite easily with the new upgrades. Similar upgrades have been done for the tag cloud. I don't have any tags on this site, but if you add the tag cloud, Right here, no tags, like I said. You've got similar options on the right-hand side which weren't there before. So that's pretty awesome. Moving away from the editor, we have new options inside of the block theme editor. If you watch my video on WordPress 5.9 where the block themes were introduced, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out that video. I'll link to it in the card up above and the description down below. If you have a theme compatible with the block editor under appearance we now have just the word editor it looks much different than the appearance menu used to look and it depends on 
whether or not the theme you have currently installed supports this functionality. And this is full site editing now inside of WordPress. So you can edit the header with the menu, you can edit the content of the page, and you can edit the footer right inside WordPress and you can create templates to edit your entire site. So on the template options here, we've got a list of templates that are available, new additions for WordPress 6.0, we go to add new, we now have the ability to add a template for the author page, the category page, the date, so it displays posts based on specific dates, tags, and taxonomies. That's been added in WordPress 6.0. The use of patterns has also been expanded. So if I go into any one of these, this is inside the block editor. So we're editing the template for the single post right now. So every single post on the site is gonna be put into this template that we're editing here. First, it's going to have the post title, then it's going to have an image, then it's going to have the content, metadata, comments block, and footer. We can edit these, these to our heart's content, these templates, and our site will be built upon these templates just like they'll be built this way using the Elementor template functionality with Elementor Pro. There's a little bit of that in Elementor Free, but all of it's in Elementor Pro, and templates just run your site. That's just how it works. So with the patterns, we can now pull them up from here. So if I type in, for example, social, it's got a bunch of blocks for social media, but it also has patterns. Patterns being just a block that's already pre-designed. That's all it is. So if I were to look up feature, let's say, put a featured post pattern right here. So it's going to show our latest posts right in this section. You can also find patterns the traditional way, going over here, going to patterns and you can see all the patterns here on the left. You can choose from different categories. And these patterns are, I forgot what the word is in Elementor, but uh, blocks maybe. It's just layouts that have been created already that you can just pop into your site and then edit them really quickly to match the needs of the site that you're building. And make them available inside of the quick select here just makes it that much faster to do stuff. If we head back to our privacy policy page and we click on this icon here, we have list view, which is just a list of all the stuff on our site. You recognize this from page builders like Elementor as well. This has now been improved where we can select multiple. Let's select heading and these three paragraphs. If I hover over them, it shows where they are on the site. So they're all highlighting on the right hand side here. Now I can move these down. I say I want them below the who we share data with, I can just drag and drop them below that. And now they went down a little farther. Point is, you can drag and drop them and move them around. There we go. That's where I wanted them at first. So you can select multiple blocks, you can drag and drop them way easier, which makes the list view way more powerful and a lot easier to use. We also have the ability to lock blocks now. So let's say you're designing something for a client or you're passing a project off to somebody else and you want something not to be easily changed, click on the block, click on the three dots, and then click on lock. This is now going to lock the block in various ways. You can choose lock all, or disable movement, or prevent removal. Disable movement means it can't be moved around. Prevent removal means you can't delete it. But you can still change it, I'm pretty sure. Let's see. I can still change things, but I can't move it now. See in the list view, can I move it? No, it can't be moved. There's the, the up and down buttons are gone. Here you have these up and down buttons to move blocks. That's gone. But I guess if you move the blocks around it, that kind of gets around the lock, doesn't it? So you can move it into place by moving the blocks. Anyway, you can't remove it, you can't delete it. There's no delete button here, and you can't move it around the page, although you can move stuff around it on the page. You can now edit the characteristics of multiple blocks at once. You select them all and you make them a group by choosing this option right here. Now we can edit their layout, color, typography, dimensions, border. Only this group will be edited and get it all together. So if I wanted to add padding of 50, you'll see that just the group I selected now is padding of 50 all around. Maybe I want a background color on this group and text color. There we go. That's not bad. Maybe uh, a border. Make the border five. Let's make it a different color. 
And we can also add border radius now. This is new as well. Add a border radius of 30, pretty sweet. You want to add a border radius just on one side or two sides, click on this little link icon. It's going to give you options for all the corners in the corner position. So the top left box will be the top left corner. So let's make this one 100. Top right box is top right corner. Bottom left box is bottom left corner. Bottom right box is bottom right corner. Let's make that 200. So you can add cool effects like that and cool styles applied to the entire group, which is pretty handy if you ask me. There's new options for colors. So if I go to colors, our color palette has more options. We have a range for transparency now. So if I wanted to make this red, not quite so red. This works better when you have a background color as well. So let's add a background color of, I don't know, green. Change the transparency, super handy. We have options for hex code, RGB, and HSL. Those were there before. Anyway, we now have more transparency options and a redesigned color palette for more color options for pretty much everything on the page. I added a gallery block right here. We now have more options for our galleries, including removing the spacing between images. Change number of columns, we had that before. The images that have, or the rows that have less than the number of columns, stretch out, which is a pretty nice effect. For the block spacing, we can have 50 pixels between the blocks, or just one, or even zero, and have them right next to each other. That can also be percent M, REM, VW, and VH. So that's pretty nice, more gallery options. The last thing I wanna show you is all about the styles on your site. If we go back to the editor, where we create our templates for the site, click on styles up in the top right, we have the ability to switch styles now. Click on browse styles, currently there are four for this specific theme. Click on the style options and it applies these styles to the entire site and all the elements on the site. Those are pre-built. You can also go in here and click on blocks. Click on any block and you can define the styles of that block and the element styles for the elements in that block for every block on the site. You can customize every single one of these blocks that are listed here and it will apply those changes to everywhere where those blocks are on your site, which makes your style changes a whole lot easier. Change typography throughout the whole site for text and for links. Change the colors and the layout, which in this case is just padding throughout the entire site. So it's super handy. This is still in beta. They're going to be adding more functionality to the styles tab here. And since this is in beta, be careful with it. It means it's still being tested. It's probably not ready for prime time yet, but it's here so that you can play around with it on the testing site to see how it works and possibly apply the styles to your sites once they come out of beta. Next up, check out this playlist right here. It's the WordPress skills playlist on my channel to help you level up your WordPress skills. And this one down here, this video is all about speeding up your WordPress site to make it as fast as possible. So make sure you check both of those out. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss new future videos. My name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Till next time. Keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.